y'all. This quality sports, man. Let's get straight to it, man. Shout out to the Denver Nuggets, man, for doing what they did, man. Um, shout out to the boy Jokic. That's my man's. You know, uh, I bet you they put some respect on his name now. Shout out to my man uh, Murray. Dropping 40 on them boys. But let's get straight to the meat and potatoes, man. Your boy Kawhi straight up choked. I'm not going to put it all on him, but at the same time, I'm going to put a lot on him. I'm going to put a lot on Paul George, but at the same time, I'm going to put a lot, a whole lot on Kawhi because he has been advertised as the best player in the league. And don't, don't, I ain't trying to slander or bash my man or anything like that, man, but um, because I like my man. Kawhi is definitely a beast. You know what I'm saying? He be balling on them boys, but um, it might seem out of context, but this is why I've always thought it was blasphemous to compare somebody like him to a Kobe or a Michael Jordan or uh, uh, or a player of that magnitude because in moments, <clears throat> excuse me, like that, your superstar is supposed to show up. And he... He minimized in that situation. Let's just keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? They call you a defensive stopper. Jamal Murray was not supposed to be able to drop 40 on you. You were supposed to be able to do something, something to slow him down. And if not slow him down, you were supposed to be able to counter that with points. And this is my point when, when I'm talking to other people and I'm talking about superstars like Kobe or Michael Jordan. They like to say, oh, well, Kobe had game sevens like these. <clears throat> Kobe ain't never had a game seven like that. I don't give a damn what nobody said. Even if Kobe didn't have a great game seven, to to recent memory, man, Kobe ain't never had no game seven like that. And if he wasn't scoring, he affected the game in different ways. Like Kawhi didn't affect the game, nor did Paul George affect the game in any any way, defensively, offensively, rebounding just sheer IQ getting other players involved if it ain't you they just they just wasn't able to do anything and I just feel like that's inexcusable and that's unacceptable I know that's a lot of pressure to you know be up against be faced with you know what I'm saying and try to rise to the occasion but that's hey no excuses man you a superstar man all of the all of the quote unquote superstars have had to go through it. They got the backlash, they got the criticism, they got everything that uh Kawhi gonna be getting for the next pretty much uh till the season start again. <clears throat> till the next season because uh he's been getting praised all over for the past few years, you know what I'm saying, and advertised as all oh, he's better than LeBron and trust me, like I like LeBron, but LeBron is not my favorite player either. You know what I'm saying? But you got to put some respect on LeBron's name now, straight up. You know what I'm saying? This is my... I would like to make this a, se a separate video, but I'm, I'm feeling it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go into it because people like... And I fuck with Max Kellerman because my, 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 my favorite sport really is boxing. So I, I fuck with Max Kellerman. He definitely is a... A superb, supreme analyst when it comes to boxing, you know what I'm saying? You can't take that away from him. When it comes to this basketball shit, boy, boy, you need to sit your ass down, boy. You done contradicted yourself and said some extremely outlandish shit, G and Ways, G. Like, boy, like, for real, boy, your ass is in basketball cemetery, boy. Like, you need to not be, able to be allowed to even have an opinion about basketball again because the shit that you be saying just be... I'm not saying it's <clears throat> so far-fetched or so outlandish to say that, like, oh, shit, Kawhi is the best player in the league. But, bro, for real, like Stephen, they say, I'm watching first take today. Stephen, they say, like, look, bro, last week Giannis was the number one player in the world. Motherfucker started losing the series. He dropped down to the fifth player. You know, it don't work like that, bro. It don't work like that, bro. That's ter That's a terrible example, bro. It don't work like that, bro. It don't work like that. In, in, in 1986, bro, Jordan pretty much damn near got swept by the Boston Celtics. 
in the first round. He was the best player on the court. He was the best player in the NBA. But his team wasn't better than the Boston Celtics. Okay? Jordan could have went against the Lakers. He could have went against any team. And he was not going to win, bro. You see what I'm saying? But nevertheless, his performance, his performance, the way he affected the game was not questioned at all. He did his part. Of course, he's still going to receive the blame because he didn't win the game, but it's only so much a person can do. But at least he did all he could do. Kawhi and Paul George cannot say that they did all they can do. And if they did do all they can do, that's terrible. And you can truly not be considered the best players or even remotely compared to the best players because they would not perform like that in these moments. It just it, it's just not realistic. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I don't give a damn what nobody say, man. Excuse me too, y'all. I'm at work right now, man. So if you see some interruptions and things of that nature, man, just forgive me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm really starting to get into this thing. I be passionate about these topics, man, because people like Max Kellerman, man, really be blowing me. You know what I'm saying? Because he just sat there today and really tried to justify like his wrongness like I just you know own up to being wrong bro but you know what I'm saying I mean to each his own man but Max be tripping me the fuck out bro like Max be wilding bro like dude you are absolutely wrong and just like everything that he his idealism, all of his idealisms is like, boy, it just got unfolded today, bro. Like, it just got broke all the way down. His little belief system of how he gauge all of this shit, that shit just got broke down today, and I'm glad it happened. It's one motherfucker that I got to agree with today, ironically. You know what I'm saying? Well, whatever, man. Nick Wright. You know what I'm saying? No, I didn't have Denver winning. I don't know how he had Denver winning. I ain't going to get into that, but he he's right. You know what I'm saying? He agrees, too. He's shooting narrative that I'm not going to say Kawhi is overrated, but he is no LeBron James. Again, as much as <clears throat> I ain't going to say I don't like LeBron, but he ain't my favorite. But I'm not a person who critiques in such a way like if it's not my favorite player I can't give them credit Le- LeBron is clearly the best player in the world right now the closest thing to LeBron or even better than LeBron would be Kevin Durant see? if anybody say anything less or more or whatever bro you are out your mind bro and your, your ass probably shouldn't count bro <clears throat> you know what I'm saying you you just tripping bro like you don't go from being, and my point to bring up the Jordan situation, <clears throat> just so I don't get all the way sidetracked, like Matt, to, to, to clear up the max point. You don't go from being the first to the fifth in one week. Now, Jordan was just the best, period, win or lose. See, if you beat Jordan, you just beat Jordan. But his status as the best player didn't change. Like, no. Nah, you just had the better team. Y'all outplayed them. When he came out of retirement and lost to the Orlando Magic, got the ball stripped from him from Nick Anderson. Not a player on the Orlando Magic team, not even Jordan Fresh out of retirement, was greater than Michael Jordan, even in his defeat. It wasn't even a question. Like, the greatest player on the, on the planet, he just happened to lose, bro. That You understand what I'm saying? Like, that don't never... It might have been someone that they might have wanted to compare. Y'all taking this this compare word to the extreme, G. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's levels, G, and it's differences. And I've always seen that out of Kawhi to me, man, that he is not that superstar that y'all think he is. You know what I'm saying, bro? And it just unfolded last night. And I ain't going to say I'm happy for it. No, I'm not happy to see my brother fail. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I won't. Well, 
That's why I'm doing my shit now. Vlog one. And for those who are entitled to their opinion, they're entitled to their opinion, but motherfuckers be wrong, bro. Like, just super wrong, bro. Like, and it does. It touches my nerve for people to be that wrong and can just, with a straight face, stand on that wrongness, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even Kawhi, like, bro, you got to be looking in the mirror tonight like, damn. This is really a bad look. I ain't saying a dude can't come back. He might come back next year and then be in a game seven and ball the fuck out. But this year you didn't. This is your first asterisk, bro. And you got to eat that. So does Paul. But Paul got a history of it. So that's expected. He's already deemed the number two player. Okay? That's why I'm like, the pressure ain't really on him. I didn't, I didn't expect him. I expected him to do what a number two do sometimes a number two might not show up that's what a number two can do number one show up no matter what kobe game seven i can pull up stats right now <clears throat> people want to bring up that oh kobe had a terrible game seven before i end this video let me go ahead and put some respect on my man name rest in peace yeah he had he, he shot six for 24 that game six for 24 by the way Kawhi had a Negative 21 plus minus. No points in the fourth. No superstar does that, bro. And even if so, Kobe Kobe grabbed 15 rebounds that night. 15. Energy unparalleled. Woe out Ray Allen so he couldn't hit threes. Making the right play. Still drawing double teams and triple teams. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard wasn't even remotely in Kobe having a bad shoot night, still so cold, he still demands that much attention. Them dudes ain't that cold. <clears throat> Put some respect on my man's name. That's no comparison. Again, people like Kobe, man, when it's, when that ball ain't going, it's other things they do to affect the game. I guarantee you, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. In my opinion, Kobe wouldn't have lost that game seven. Not to the them, not to those. He would have did something to Jamal Murray, or at least would have been able to combat it. That would have just woke my man up. That's all that would have did. But uh, this is the first video of many on these on topics like this. I'm gonna be covering all types of sports, man. Uh, basketball, football, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this is the quality opinion right here, man quality sports man like subscribe share till next video peace